Hi, I'm Laura Lee Clay, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am going to show you today how to make a cute fun fold card using a hand pin petal stamp set. This card can be used for any occasion and it's very simple and cute and I think you'll impress your uh, receivers with this card. So let's get started. Okay, and here's the card. Now, for this particular one, I used Feel Better Friend, but it can really be used for everything. I even used this technique for my Christmas cards. And it has a belly band that slides up and down, and you slide that off, and your card opens like this. And then, when you flip it over, this would be where you would write your, put your sentiment or write your little note to your friend. And on the back of the belly band, of course, you want to be sure to put your hallmark right there. And so let's, let me show you how we're going to do this. First of all, this is the stamp set we're going to be using. It has line art as well as some that are filled in that you can use to color the flowers or you can use our blends, pencils, uh, watercolors, whatever you want to do to uh, fill it in. They are a clear stamp set. So they are poly, uh, photopolymer stamp set. And I'm going to be using Pear Pizzazz, very vanilla, and then I'm using the DSP or Designer Series Paper, comes from Expressions in Ink, and honestly this is one of the prettiest um, papers that we have had, and I just love it. I've used stuff, all, almost all of it, or I would show you a little bit more of it. But what you're going to need, let me give you the dimensions, and all of this will be on my um, YouTube page, so you can click underneath and like it, and then get all the details, and then you can, for further information, you can go to my website and click on gallery, and I'll go through that with you again. So you're gonna take your piece of pear pizzazz, it's gonna be cut at five and a half by eight and a half. So you can get two cards out of one sheet of paper. However, you will need another sheet or a scrap that you can cut one inch by nine inches. This is gonna be your belly band. Then you're going to need two pieces of your DSP that are one and three quarters inch by five and a quarter. So you need two of the same in that. That'll be for the panels here on each side. And then in the middle, you're gonna have a coordinating piece. So I chose this one, it picks up the gold, and it's going to measure at two by five and a quarter. Then I just picked out a scrap, and I'm gonna use this for when I punch the little um, labels here. I'll show you how to do that and the scout, scout label will be out of the fancy DSP. So, now, probably the most difficult thing of this easy to do card is getting your little holders, your spacers, and I'm gonna get this down where you can see it. This is our Simply Scored. I could not survive without this. This is one of the very most important things that you need to get when you start gathering your supplies together after your basic um, ink, paper, and stamps. But the Simply Scored has all these little notches or holes along the whole 12 inch um, across and 12 inches down so it's 12 by 12 and the ruler at the top is the one that's the important one that you're going to be placing these little 
spacers, I guess I'd call them, on. So <clears throat> to make the card have these scored lines, you're going to need to put your little spacer at two inches, three and an eighth, five and three eighths, and six and a half. Whenever you go to use your stylus, it has two ends. It has a real skinny little end that I use for, for thicker paper. And then I use the fat end for DSP because it's thinner and you don't want to cut your paper. So just hold it like you would a pencil. I'm a lefty. There's a little mark right down from that groove and you're just going to pull it down and make a nice score line. And you'll do that for each of these. Now, and always put your little stylus back so you'll have it when you go to use it the next time. Now, to fold this card, and I'm going to go ahead and fold it first and then put the paper on. You can do it either way, but the way you're going to start is it's going to be kind of an accordion, but I'm going to fold the left side to the middle and then fold the right side to the middle. Okay, so here you have it like that. Then I'm going to open each side and I'm going to fold the remaining ones back. Get a good line there with your tool. Now, this is the way the card should look. So I'm going to stretch it back out just a little bit. Now when you go to place your um, DSP, you're going to have the two like ones on each side and in the middle will be your coordinating piece of uh, designer series paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love this. Okay, now you're going to take your stamp and seal and I go ahead and do it all along the edge so that it'll stay put. And this one doesn't matter. It doesn't have an up and down So you're going to put that right there, leaving about an eighth of an inch all the way around. I'll do the second one. I'll put it right here on this side. Then I'll do the middle. I should have my little silicone mat over here so I don't get it on my paper, which I often do. I bet y'all don't ever do anything like that, huh? You go to pick it up and it's stuck to your paper like that. <laughs> okay, now this one to me doesn't really have an up and down, so you can choose it, do it any way you want, but often. Our designer paper does have a, a different, you know, a correct way that you would want to put it. And um, believe me, I've had my share of putting it upside down. So, this is the way your card's going to look here. Like I said on the back, I wrote my little sentiment here in the middle one so that when it's closed, you don't see it for Christmas and I mailed all of them out and I wish I had um, one to show you but what I used um, our Misty Moonlight which is a color very close it's a little lighter than the Night of Navy and you couldn't see anything if I wrote it there so what I did was I got another piece of paper stamped my sentiment, wrote my little thing and I always put the year on the card I don't know why I did that, but I've, I've always been in the habit of that. And then you stick it. So it's cut at the same width 
as the um, center one on the front. So two by five and a quarter. And that would go right there. And then when it's closed, you don't see it. Now I'm going to get back my Simply Scored again so that I can show you how to score the belly band. And I'm going to move these to the side. This even has a little door back here that you can store your, um, I don't know what to call these things, your place mark holders. I made that up. And your, I guess your uh, bone folder could be in there too. So I'm going to take all of these out. And I didn't mention this, but you can ease, this is done so that it is in one eighth of an inch. I'm going to hold that up a little bit higher so that you can see that. So you've got one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, one half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, and one inch. So when you go to do your belly band, you're going to move, that's the reason I took these off because the measurements are a little bit different. I'm going to find two and a half, which is right here, and it covers up that line. Then I'm going to use six and five eighths. So we've got six, one, two, three, four, five eighths is one eighth past the halfway, half inch mark. Now, the reason I did a, a little bit different, first of all, I wanted them to be more or less centered. And then I actually gave just about a, an eighth of an inch wider span here so that it would go around your, um, your card and I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Now let me give you one tip. Generally when I am making uh, cards I tend to make a dozen at a time maybe. It's as much trouble to get out your things for one card as it is for um, making a whole bunch. And I work in assembly style. I think I've told you that before. But anyway, <clears throat> this, if you were going to make more than one of these cards, I would suggest that, so if you're going to make six of them, you would need to have six inches by nine. And then score it all, then cut your one-inch strips. It just makes it go a little bit easier and faster. Okay, so... You would have six inches here, score it all, and then cut your strips. Now, let me get a sip. That's my afternoon coffee. On your um, belly band, I am going to use about an inch well, a little less than an inch of tearing tape. And the tape, you can either do it like I'm doing or you can use your scissors and cut it. And I put it around so that it fits right there. But see how I've got just an eighth of an inch difference here so that it it will go over the thickness of the card. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. And it helps to burnish the end. You can do that with anything, your finger, your um, scissors, tweezers, whatever you've got, just to get that. And that needs to be done again. But you'll peel those off. And then you fold that one over and you want it to be tight but still move because it's going to loosen up over time. 
Okay, next we need to do our summit. And I'm looking at, I think I'll do another. I need, I need more. Right now I'm having a lot of people that are sick. So I'm going to go ahead and do Feel Better Friend. And I'm going to use my Pear Pizzazz ink. I like to put my stamps upside down and then put your block on top. And you can go ahead and I'm going to do it on so I don't mess this paper up yet. <clears throat> I'm going to just test it out and make sure it looked good. Okay, you want to leave enough space for your punches. So I'm going to do this right up here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and punch that. Okay, I'm using whale tail punches. I had an oval and a scallop, and um, in the new catalog that is, is current right at the moment, we have one stamp, I'm sorry, one punch that has both on it. Let me see if I can find that, and I'll show it to you right quick. Here are my punches. Okay. And it's called Double Oval. So it's just almost exactly like what I have. And uh, it's $18 for that. Now, if you're using that, you need to do this one at a time, just like what I'm doing. So I like to turn my punch over, center it where I can. See that it's going to be in the middle of the punch and just so it stands out a little bit I'm going to take a sponge dauber I like to put it on my finger and just go around the edge it just gives a little depth to your piece it makes it stand out just a little bit more okay so now I can close up my ink pad and do close your ink pads before you go on to something else that will prevent mistakes. Now, this last piece, I need to go under here, so I'm going to have to cut it this way. But I wanted to get some of the gold in there. And let's see. Okay. This has some of the pear pizzazz, so I think I'm going to do my scallop right there. And I'm going to center it where I want it. It'll pick up a little pink, and that's okay, too. It's not going to show very much anyway. And I'm just going to use my liquid glue for this. You can use the stamp and seal if you want. This comes in handy because sometimes you need to move things around a little bit, and this is forgiving until it dries. Okay, we've got that there. Now, here's our card, and we want to be sure to cover up the piece right there so that it doesn't show. And this is going to it's got tension on it, so that's why I used the tearing tape. So this really comes in handy, especially if you're doing little boxes and things. Then I'm going to put some dimensionals on. And put that right in the middle so that that covers that up, and there's your card. Now, don't forget to put your hallmark, just like I was a kindergarten teacher and I always tell my kids, sign your papers. So, first of all, so we know whose was whose, but then you need to be proud of what you've done and let people know that it is a hand-stamped card. So, like I said, this is an easy technique. It goes fairly quickly. 
you don't need a whole lot of products to do use um, to make this card and it can be used for any occasion as I mentioned I used it for Christmas and um, made it real frou-frou I'll have to see if I can't come up with a card and show you next time okay so just want to thank you for joining me today this has been fun I'm using a new uh, studio uh, live production here so this is my first one using OBS studio and um, I will download it to YouTube clean it up a little bit and then you will be able to see it there but join me at 12 noon on Thursdays for lunch with Laura and Lord willing I will be with you um, this coming Thursday which should be the 6th of January 2022. See you then. Love you.